and more cooperation, but I guess hope springs eternal, right? Um, I guess, is this on? Y'all hear me okay? Okay, so for the record, my name is Armando Grundy Gomez, and as the mayor so duly noted and where, where I came from, I guess I did, I didn't actually fly here, I drove here, but um, I didn't, but uh, wow, I, I really don't want to make this into a back and forth about who was. I do want to give a shout out to Mr. Steve, your, your former trustee. Um, I, I do think it's interesting that we all still can't come together, but I do love the brilliance of when people try that are quasi literate and try to say they understand the law. I'm going to trust the lawyer before I trust somebody that understands the law. Mr. Delgado, man, you should be looking a little uncomfortable. I don't know if that's gas or something going there, but you might want to try something for that. Um, but listen, we, we all need to really do, I'm being facetious in my jokes there. That's not cool. So I really know it's not, it's not really cool because we, we all need to be grownups and I'm not seeing grownups there, but I do want to say something as somebody that, that, that likes public administration and, when I see an administrator who should be apolitical in their role, but wants to say somebody is stuttering, that's interesting. That's really rich. When you want to attack a woman, that's your big old bully. And so I like bullies and I think you're a bully. And so you're sitting next to a bully. So your leader's a bully. And so you like to bully women. Interesting. How rich of you? How convenient of you? So somebody asks you a question about something you should already have knowledge of, but you can't answer a question about the facts what they are so leaders should be leaders and should answer questions and not say i want to just bully on a woman so interesting so we got a lot of bullies in the room and somebody projected too much so yeah i said it so there we go and i'm yawning too because i'm tired of hearing you so there you go goodbye <laughs> You know what? I'm back again. Okay, we did our shit show. And you all were hard-headed. Do me a favor. You're going to hear the same lies over and over. The same answers. You're not going to get anything new with all the cat calls. So this meeting is our trustees meeting. Can we give them the respect? Because you don't care about that other bullshit anyway. Now we got Delgado. He unassed that seat. Did he not? We want the rest of his firm to unass it too, because you are the idiot that sat at the township meeting looking the same way you do now. And when folks want to quote the law to me, bring a lawyer, a real lawyer with a law book, because that bullshit she's spouting don't mean shit. She sits here and tells us what her job is and what their job is, but she disregards their job. He won't let them do it. So don't quote the law to me when it works for you. Quote the law to me when it works for everybody. So um, I was a little upset and frazzled earlier. I'm just going to be very specific. First of all, I want to give uh, kudos to your staff. Everybody finally seemed to have gained a mind of their own for the most part, and the respect that's given is the respect that's reciprocated. We could have been here a long time ago. Um, definitely shocked and proud to see Brother Stan Brown, because I was ashamed to be a Brown, but it seems like you're finally catching up. And um, literally, I think that what the people are asking for is not unreasonable. And it is really interesting to see somebody sitting in the people's business speaking about not being prepared to answer questions of an elected official and to think that they can do that with an attitude or sass or zestiness is a little disrespectful. And so I would encourage uh, Mr. Freeman to make sure that the next time you come, you do like Kiana and just bring all your damn files. And then the last thing that I'm going to say is I didn't notice that my good fellow advocate Andrew Holmes is in the building. And that's why literally I wish that I would have looked up before I read the statement because as it relates to you, you're the reason that I'm here. And you're the reason that everybody is going through what they're going through as it relates to an advocate because you're supposed to be one. But you've been accused of something that's very shameful. And the least you could have done is given us a very basic and comprehensive statement literally giving sympathy and understanding to a, a survivor, be it that you felt that it was true or not, and you could have at least 
declared your innocence, which noted you haven't done. And so I'm simply asking you right now, because me sitting here looking at your face, I'm utterly disgusted. Because how dare you take your ass back outside and stand with any family when there's a woman with a child that's waiting on a response, of, a response from you, literally as an elected official and as an advocate about what you did. Was it consensual? Was it not? Did you rape that woman? Did you put something in her drink? And damn it, you gonna answer, and you gonna answer me. I promise you that. Well, man, we recognize. You know, I'm, I'm going, I'm going to, I'm going to. I was just loud. Hey, hey, out of order, you out of order. Come out, out of order. Oh, all that shit. Hey, hey. It's about to go down. Oh, what you about to do? This rapist, allegedly. Oh my God, look at this shit. Look at this old ass standing up. Now the diet, don't do it. Go, go, go. Don't even, don't even do it, Jed. Whoever's there with Jed diet, please tell him to go. There's other ways to handle this. You need to stay free and on top. Please. I'm sorry, I'm clapping loud. Somebody go save Jed. saying is whoever the jet team y'all need to stop letting them crash out like this stop letting jet crash out like this because if y'all have his back i'm just gonna keep it real that's why some of y'all are standoffish for me this is stuff that i will not let him do i would try my best to stop him one because of all of this stuff that's happening already i'm gonna give my commentary but i'm gonna shut up because it's still some stuff going on. Look on Jed Page right now. Let's see what's going on on the outside. Thank you. And none of this would have happened. I think they got a no bell clause in Chicago. Let's see if they got one like New York. Because if he get locked up, he's going to have a no bell. I wonder, I wonder why he went towards Tiffany's direction. Why didn't he go the other direction? Who the fuck let him crash out like that? Christ. Y'all gonna be mad at me because I'm gonna give y'all some commentary after this. We're gonna work backwards about what just happened and now we're gonna take it back. I 